Hello and welcome to reviewing my viewers accounts. The other day I put out a community post where I asked you guys to submit your Genshin accounts and um yeah I got like way more submissions than I ever anticipated. Let's get right into it. Alright, first up we have Jem, also known as Small Gremlin, who wants their Kazaha reviewed. Alright, he's on Harbinger of Dawn, Refinement Rank 5, Four Piece, Viridescent. Whoa. Oh! Oh, that is a beautiful feather! You've got Elemental Mastery, Crit Rate, and Crit Damage. And I'll have a Crit Rate at that. Your Circlet, a Crit Damage Circlet. You could probably use more Crit Rate. Trust me, I understand how hard farming Circlets is. Next, you have your Feather, and already that's just a beautiful feather. Elemental Mastery, Sands, and and crit damage, you're working with what you've got. Elemental mastery can also be a bit of an annoying main stat to get sometimes. And then we have an Nemo damage goblet with 14% attack and 7.8 crit rate. If it's all you've got at the moment, then it definitely works. Overall, this is a pretty decent Kazaha. Just keep farming Viridescent if that's what you want to keep him on. Artifacts that could probably use the most attention is your circlet, goblet, and sands. But other than that, your feather and your flower are absolutely beautiful. I don't I don't see why you would want to change these. 854 Constellation Zero. Yeah, that's a nice Kaza. Next is Maya, level 90, futile. She's on a death match, very nice. And she is on four piece crimson. Okay, let's take a look at her flower. I can already sense that this is probably going to be a nice futile. <gasps> okay. This is just the perfect futile piece. Um, higher damage bonus. Crit damage. Okay, I think this is like the only piece I could probably critique. Like, oh yeah, maybe get some crit rate and elemental mastery in there. But even then, that's kind of hard because you've at least got an onset pyro damage bonus with crit damage. And then you've just got literally the most perfect crit damage circlet I have ever seen. Okay. Constellation zero. Talents 10, 10, 10. 68 crit rate, 224 crit damage, almost no energy recharge. That is a huge help. Oh my gosh. What is with you and your perfect pieces? Oh my gosh. Yep, yeah, yeah, she's never bursting. That's a Yoimiya. <laughs> Jin wants their Nouvellet shown. Let's take a look at your Nouvellet. Prototype Amber, Refinement Rank 2. Again, literally just the most beautiful feather I've ever seen. Tw How do you have 20.2 crit damage and 20.7 energy recharge on the same feather? Okay, HP Sands, 9 crit rate, 19, yeah, yeah. You, you've got a good build already. Hydro damage bonus, okay. This is probably the one that's lacking the most. The flat HP rules he can use, so can you really complain? Crit damage, 10 crit rate, 10 attack, 10 energy recharge, constellation zero, talents 955, 39 over 200, you'd think, oh, that's only 39 crit rate. Yeah, well, he is on four piece Meritress, so it's not even an issue. That's a very nice Nouvellet. All right, next up is Nino, 48. So I'm assuming you're a relatively new account. You might not have that many uh, five-star artifacts yet. You have him, oh, you never mind. You have him on a five-star weapon. That is actually a really nice four-star. Another nice feather, despite being a four-star. 21 crit damage, some energy recharge. This is probably your weakest piece. You're only AR 48, so you're still gonna be farming a lot. And for what you've done so far, he's not looking too bad. At least at least you have a circlet with some crit rolls on it. Considering you're such a low AR, this is pretty impressive. Constellation Zero, talent 773. 205 crit damage. That was a little more than what I was expecting to see. You want to get his crit rate up more? Keep it up. Just try and get some more crit rate on him. Good job. All right, next up is Jade AR60. Yeah, this looks like it's gonna be a very nice Clorinda. How is she looking like this already? You just got her. Her signature weapon, very nice. Four piece whimsy already. Constellation zero. How the heck do you have this woman triple crowned? She not long came out. She's been out for like two weeks. Okay, not bad. Okay. Almost 30 crit damage on the sands. Electro damage bonus. This is the most copium 
piece out of your whole build yet, but I mean, hey, it's on set. And a crow, okay, crit rate circle it, 20 crit damage, 18 energy recharge. Let's look at these stats. Ha have you touched grass? That's a great chlorine. Next is your how high them. His signature weapon R1. What is this? This is the perfect our high thumb piece. I cannot fault this. All right, let's look at his stats. Very nice. All right, next up we have Ray. Is your Fremenae Snow Tomb Silver? So you've got him on a physical build. That is a nice flower. That is a really nice feather. If you're trying to force the set, I understand. Back to the domains though. Goblet, and then you have an attack circlet. C six. Very nice. Could be totally wrong, but it looks like you have crowned him. I'm very interested to see these stats, considering you do not have any crit on the weapon or the circlet. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, your crit rate and your crit damage is suffering because of that. What would be better probably for his overall damage is that you have a better crit ratio, some more crit rate, so he's actually hitting harder more often, rather than the four piece. The four piece is nice, but if your four piece isn't very good and you're not getting like a lot of like good pieces, I mean, these two are great. Keep the flower, keep the feather. That could be your two piece physical damage bonus. But then I recommend either running a two-piece attack or a two-piece physical damage bonus again, which could be like Bloodstained Chivalry or something. I don't know for certain if that would work, but I think overall you're gonna want more crit. Okay, next up is actually Noah. You've probably seen him in a few of my videos before. I will be reviewing his ride in Shogun. He has an R1 the catch, but if you really want to improve it, fish fish, little boy. Four piece emblem, constellation zero, and talents are 169. Okay, every time, it's like a jump scare whenever I realize that this is the crit rate and this is the crit damage. That is a really nice ride in Shogun feather because she's utilizing three of these stats overall that is a nice feather. You have an attack sans, nice. An attack goblet, Raiden Shogun can utilize an attack goblet pretty well, so this isn't bad. And finally, you have a crit damage circlet with, you have a lot of attack on here. She has 2000 attack, 52 crit rate, 151 crit damage, and 212 energy recharge. That is actually a pretty nice Raiden. All right, next is Why Is I. Again, you've probably seen him in a couple of my videos before. This guy is a very chaotic man. He really wants me to review his Linny. He is on his signature weapon, R1, level 90, four piece Meritus, constellation zero, talents 10, 10, 10. This man loves his Linny. All right, let's look at these artifacts. That's pretty beautiful. Because you're my friend, I'm gonna bash you a little bit more and say, oh, terrible. You have HP, 20 crit damage, so 3.5 crit rate. Attack Sands, how are you getting these crit rate rolls on set? Very nice piece. Higher damage, bonus, crit rate, crit damage, elements mastery, attack. That's a pretty nice piece. And finally, crit damp. Is this a crit damage circlet without crit rate? Cyrus, what are you doing? You've at least got 14 attack on here and some energy recharge. That is a lot of crit damage. 50 crit rate? I just realized this is Meritress, so this not having crit rate doesn't even hurt you because when you get all these stacks, that's a lot more crit rate. Almost 260 crit damage. This Linny is hitting hard, isn't he? This is, this is a beautiful Linny. Good job. Now, we're on to the American account. Bro, I literally just did that on my American account for the fun of it. What the hell? What? Like, I- what? I saw I had a singular wish and thought that would be pretty funny to do. Damn. Alright, first account on American servers is Newts. I really want to build my Tanari, so depending on how good this build is, might inspire me to finally do that. Skyward Harp, 4 piece gilded, Constellation 3, that is impressive. Triple crowned by the looks of it. Alright, let's look at these artifacts. Okay, that's 15 defense. We're going to just ignore the 15 defense. For onset, it's fine. And you know what? The feather kind of makes up for it. Very nice to low crit damage. This is a pretty nice onset 
danger damage bonus with a 14 crit rate. Crit damage circlet with 8 crit rate. They are not bad artifacts. And this is actually a really nice ratio. Almost 70 crit rate with almost 200 crit damage. That is a very nice Tanari. All right, next up is Ollie. Ollie specifically asked me that they only want me to review Kaya. Ah, uh, Kaya and I, we go, we go way back. Level 81 out of 90. Harbinger of Dawn, R5. Four Piece Blizzard Strayer, Constellation 1, 7, 7, 8. We do have a four star artifact, but it's a nice four star artifact. 14 attack, 18 crit damage. That's actually some nice crit rolls. Very nice on set. Cryo damage bonus, and then you have a crit damage circlet. You are gonna want to improve this obviously with time, but again, it's on set. You're working with what you have. 13 crit rate, but you have 229 crit damage. I was just about to say, are you ever critting? I did just remember you have four piece blizzard though. Okay, so you're getting like 40 crit rate from the blizzard strayer set. That is actually a really impressive Kaya, especially when you still have a four star artifact on him. Good job. Alright, now we're on to Julian, who is truly an Aether main. Your level 70 Aether. What is this? I've seen this sword before, but I honestly have no idea how or where you get it. You're on a two-piece energy recharge. C5, talents 588. He's on a little bit of a rainbow. The crit rate, the defense rolls are a bit sad, but even so, not bad. That is a gorgeous feather. I love this feather. Energy recharge sands. That's a pretty nice and Nemo damage bonus, especially with the double crit and energy recharge. And then a crit rate circlet with 24 crit damage and 40 elemental mastery. That's a really nice circlet. 60 crit rate over 125 crit damage, but you have 204 energy recharge. So you might want to get another two piece on here. Maybe one day a four piece. I'm not quite sure how you're using him. If you want to be a true the main, you're going to want to get into up to 80 or 70. Not bad. <laughs> All right, next up is Lumine. What a Yarn Fae reviewed. I love Yarn Fae. Level 90 Wood Sith. Four Piece Crimson Witch. Ooh. Constellation 2. 10, 10, 10. Ripple Brown. Beautiful. Beautiful. This could probably use some work, but the attack on there is nice. This could probably use a little bit more work too. Considering this is your off piece, you might want to try and find a better off piece. Crit rate circlet with six crit damage, but you do have almost 80 elemental mastery. Got some energy recharge on there. Almost 160 crit damage, 75 crit rate. That's a nice yarn thing. Right, next up we have... Anyways, 41 max HP, level 90. Jade Fall Splendor, okay. She's on two piece Ocean Hued Clam and two piece Maiden Beloved. HP, that's kind of all she needs, HP. What is it with Maiden Beloved's pieces and you need them to go into HP, right? You need them to go into HP for the characters you're going to use them for. And then they just smack crit on it. Okay, HP, more crit damage, but at least you've got some flat HP on there at least. Healing bonus and of course, it's main beloved and just stupid, stupid crit rolls as usual. Constellation zero, talents four, ten, four, minus 72 crit rate and 110 crit damage. Oh, Kokomi. She's got a ton of HP. You might want some energy recharge on her, but my gosh, do the maiden beloved pieces love going into crit. I'm gonna review a Farina. We have not reviewed a Farina yet. Skyward Blade. Four piece golden troop is what we like to see. Crit rate, crit damage, crit rate, crit damage, edgy recharge, HP sands, crit rate, crit damage, edgy recharge. Goblet with HP, that's a nice goblet. That's a pretty nice circlet, especially with the HP there and the crit rate. Constellation zero, talents, six, ten, ten. So you've got her double crown, 77 crit rate, 165 crit damage, 177 energy recharge, and 36 HP. That is very nice, Farina. Next, I'm very interested in your Raiden Shogun. She has an R5, the cat, four piece emblem, constellation zero, six, nine, ten. Let me look at these artifacts. Beautiful, beautiful. That is, holy crap, she is gonna be bursting for days. Oh, this is really nice. Really, 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 
really nice circle. That's so much crit damage. Oh my gosh. Let's look at these stats. That is probably one of the best Raiden Shoguns I've ever seen. 63 crit rate, 175 crit damage, 228 energy recharge. This is, you, you ought to be happy with this. This is a very nice account. Varsenic, who is adventuring 58 and completely broke for some reason. Nuvalet, is that his signature weapon? Oh my gosh. Four piece Meritress. Constellation Zero. Triple Crown. Holy crap, that's beautiful. That's pretty nice. Very nice. Bit of a defense is Copium, but still. Can't be too picky. Very nice. And pre Oh no, that's really good because of the HP. Okay, let's look at these stats. I don't think your um, Nouvellet has ever bursted before, but besides that, this guy is probably hitting so stupidly hard with this charge attack that I don't even know if it matters. That is so much crit damage. That is absolutely insane. Onto your Farina, almost 40,000 HP. Wolf Fang, let's look, Golden Troop, beautiful. Pre that's beautiful. Mm, that's pretty good actually. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, these are such nice pieces. Constellation zero, four, ten, ten. Let's look at these. How? What? Your ratios so far on these characters are. Wow. Okay, onto your lawn. I don't. Oh. Okay. 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 Ha ha ha, no crit, no crit. Okay, he's got HP though. Constellation 0, 5, 8, 10. What are the stats? You've got the good amount of HP, you've got a lot of crit rate, you've got a lot of energy recharge. That is a very, very nice account. You might be homeless, but even so, these are very nice builds.